The Melbourne win at the MCG. Dees win their first three games under Simon Goodwin for the very first time. The last time the Demons were 4-0, Jack Viney was nine days old. Goody, the first half of the year probably couldn't have gone a lot better. No doubt the start you wanted, but did it exceed expectations at all? I think the position of wins probably has exceeded expectations in terms of the broader public, the supporters, um, and a little bit internally. There's no question about that. Um, we always believed that we had the foundations that were laid that were going to create a team where we could be in position to build success. Um, but I think you know the transformation you know, in the last, you know, 12 months has been significant and the boys have put themselves in a wonderful position at halfway and we know that's only a starting point for us in terms of what we need to do, but we're building a game style that can challenge most teams and uh, a game style that hopefully thrive in finals. Coming off two really hard years, has that helped make the boys a little bit hungrier than usual? Oh yeah, I think so. I think there are their learning experiences that you go through and, you know, I talk about learning a lot. Um, but you need to sometimes go through the adversity. You need to go through the understanding of how hard the game is, how hard you need to respect the game um, and the challenges that are associated with building success. And um, sometimes for young men and, and organisations that are trying to build a culture of sustained success, that that can take time. Um, and you need to go through those experiences to really understand the value of it and to, to take responsibility for what it needs to be to, to, to build success. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a learning experience that's been a journey. There's no question about that. Um, from 2018, where we had some, some really strong performances into you know, 19 and 20, where we didn't meet the expectations that were out there. So um, there's a whole range of experiences there that I think a lot of people have um, grown from. A lot of people have taken responsibility for and um, you pull the sum of all those parts together and you sit where we sit now. We've heard players talk about being better teammates this year. What exactly does that look like? Oh, that's one of the transformations that does take time and it really is the understanding of, as I said, what it takes to be successful in it. And it comes from building a team that builds cohesion with each other. They understand each other. Um, they understand that executing your role is all you need to do. Um, it's not about you know, Ben F's, it's not about all Australians, it's about team success. Um, so it's the little things, it's how you communicate with each other, how you give feedback, how you receive feedback, knowing that it comes from a place of care. Um, it's how you, you know, play a role that might not be your preferred role. You know, and I, we've got some great examples of that. You know, and Angus Brayshaw, you know, who's doing an unbelievable job for us just playing on a wing. Um, you know, you've got a whole range of different guys, a Tom Sparrow, a James Jordan that are playing 60% game time, allowing some of our other players to play bigger game time. Um, you know, you've got, you know, Christian Salem, who at times, you know, his, his best position's up high as a halfback, but at times we need to play him a little bit deeper. There's a whole range of guys that are playing different roles at different times that will help the team execute what they need. And, um, you know, it's a maturity thing, it's an understanding thing, and, um, you know, we're getting there. Does that team success extend beyond the 22, having depth in the list not only to challenge for spots but creating good culture as well? Yeah it is, you know, how guys underneath continue to build their game, it really is a squad mentality to be successful and um, you know the ability to continue to improve, to execute underneath but also their attitude is the most important thing, their ability not to complain about selection, not to blame but really just to take responsibility about building their careers and we've got a range of guys that have been in and out of the team, you know Tom Sparrow, Nathan Jones, Jake Malksham, Kay Chandler, um, a Toby Bedford, um, you know, Ben Brown, guys that have actually been in the team that have gone out of the team um, their, their attitude, Neville Jetta, just first class and um, you know, I'm sure they'll get their opportunity in the second half of the year. Throughout the first half of the season we've had wins in different ways, we've been challenging uh, different areas and been able to find a way to win, sometimes ugly. Is that important for you? It's incredibly important. Um, you know, we've been in situations throughout this whole season so far which has challenged us for a variety of different reasons. Uh, but to be successful in this game you need to have all three phases of your game in check 
Um, you can't win it with one phase operating well. You need all three phases to be able to sustain against any opposition. Um, and you need to do it in different scenarios, whether that be away from home, different conditions, wet, dry, um, coming from behind, um, you know, Friday night footy, big stage games, different environments, different stages that'll help build a resilience in the group that'll hopefully stand up when the time's right. Part of being on top of the ladder means you get a little bit of a target on your back. How do you prepare for that with opposition teams, no doubt, going to be coming for us later in the year? Well, it's a great experience to be in. You know, we want to be a team that has expectation and we want to be a team that can operate and thrive in that situation. So um, the experience of where we sit now is a good one for us. Um, we know that people will hunt us every week, but we want to be the hunters and, and go after the opposition ourselves and, as I said, be able to thrive in that situation. So I think it's a wonderful position to be in. Um, because it's a position that we want to be in for a long period of time and experience and, and get better at. People get a little bit concerned about peaking too early. Is there such thing? Oh, there's no such thing. I think where we sit now gives us a chance to continue to refine our game um, and get better. And there's no doubt there'll be patches within the season um, where we may struggle at times, but it's about building our game, our personnel and our method to a point that when we do hit the point end of the season, we're in good shape. Um, and we can play multiple ways and um, I think we're building that at the moment.